What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Calvin Reed and you are tuning in to Outdoors with Creed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who has subscribed. If you're new to this channel, please, if you're on your phone, all you got to do, if you're like me, I like to watch my YouTube videos on my phone when my phone is turned like this. All you got to do is turn your phone back up this way and you'll be able to see that red subscribe button. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell, switch it to all. That way you get notified anytime I do a video or when I go live, like when I do my prize giveaways, like the last lucky winner, Danielle Delk, who won her a, a very, very nice uh, six gill fishing setup. It was the seven foot medium heavy Sega rod, a six gill cyclone reel. I believe I end up sending the seven to one gear ratio because they were out of the six to ones. So I believe she got the seven to one gear ratio. I even had the uh, the the new bearings swapped out on it. So she got a really really good setup, and uh, yeah, that was fun. And I would like to do that again. So if y'all could please help me out. Uh, I don't know. Y'all drop me some comments and tell me what I think the next uh, milestone I should reach to do another giveaway. And I'll be thinking about something to, to give away in the meantime. But drop down there and leave comments. And, and let me know when y'all think I should do another giveaway. Uh, the, the first giveaway I did was at 100 subscribers. So y'all tell me, do I need to wait till 150, 200? You know, let me know where you think I should do another giveaway. And I will try to get that out there for y'all. Uh, real quick, I want to give a shout out to a special uh, spark, uh, sponsor partnership to 1350 that is the hoodie that I am wearing uh, 1350 they are a law enforcement family and they started a line of apparel for law enforcement and I'm pretty sure that has expanded to law enforcement uh, firefighters EMS and military and I have a couple of their t-shirts as well as the hoodie they are really really comfortable whenever you're in uniform they feel really good under the uniform. Uh, they don't stick to you whenever you take a uniform off and you've had that vest on you all day. Your shirts don't stick to you. So really, really good product. And this hoodie is like, it's, it's really warm. Super warm. I love this thing. There's been a few times if I wasn't wearing my full uniform, I'll just throw this hoodie on and then throw my vest on over it and I'm good to go. So if you want to get you some 1350 apparel, for my law enforcement friends out there, military friends, as well as the civilian guys. We don't we didn't forget about y'all. We don't discriminate on the civilians. We do have a line of civilian clothes. So that way, whenever you're out in town and you just want to show your support for your favorite law enforcement or that favorite military person in your life, go on down there and get you some 1350 apparel. Uh, for those of you that are in first responder and military, they do uh, make custom badges. Uh, just hit... Uh, Give them a call or go on their website and let them know what kind of badge you're trying to make for your department or your group and they'll see what they can do for you. I'll leave that link down below for you. Also check out my code down there. That way you can save 10% off on your purchases and that way you can look good whether you're on duty or off duty. Look good every day, all day. Let's get into this video. This video is December's Monster Bass. I like the way Rick did this. Um, I'm going to say he did it intentionally, the green box in the month of December, because, you know, green normally associated with Christmas. So, green box. Uh, I believe a few months back, he said that he had ran short on the bags, and so we're going to have to go back to the boxes for a little while, and I'm pretty sure we'll get those bags back in stock. So, if you have the uh, regional uh, Monster Bass subscription, we will get back to the bags and for the regional, the national box, I believe they're still doing the boxes. But in case you forgot, uh, the box does have a ruler. So whenever you catch your fish, you can measure your fish on here, take a picture of it, send it in to the guys at Monster Bass so they can see the monster fish that you just caught. Also, it has the calendar times on here to show you what the, the fish's activity is for the area that you're in. Uh, right now it says winter uh, feeding opportunity for for bass became become slim 
So when the metabolism of a bass slows down, they don't feed as often, which means they're hard to catch. The available food source are the largest of the forward species that survive the cold. Your best chances with larger baits and slower retrieves. So we've got some, I would say medium to large size baits. Uh, something that you will be able to give a lot of erratic action to as well as mimic a dying big fish. So let's jump into this. We have some stickers. Came in this little pack. Have the green Monster Bass logo sticker. This is the smaller version of the big one that I have here on my, my cup. This is just a regular cup that I went to Walmart and bought. So yeah, I got my six gill sticker on there as well and I just kind of fancied it up with these stickers some good black rifle coffee there for you uh, also we have the monster bass sticker in the old Mountain Dew uh, logo style as well as the American flag monster bass just like the one that I have stuck up here on my wall so get those you get your guide booklet to help you learn your way around these baits that come in this great box. Uh, this month's picture features Todd Grubb. You can catch him on YouTube at Fishing Grubs with a Z. Also check him out on Instagram at Fishing Grubs. And let's jump on into this. First bait we got for you, the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Right here, this is an awesome lure. This one is in half ounce, it's the size. And the color is called Mouse. And this one is designed by KVD, Greg Hackney, and Andy Montgomery. A flashy stainless steel blade and new Panther Hide paint finish. This lure comes in at $14. Uh, I recommend that you put on here, I would have to say, the uh, Rage Swimmer or some kind of a minnow style bait as a trailer. Um, also, you can try the Menace Grubs or a rage bug or anything like that and normally most people will throw this out and probably just burn it back in I would slow down the retrieve because uh, you want to mimic a dying bait fish so I would probably slow it down reel it a little bit and then kill it let it fall down and then reel it a little bit or you could try uh, not really ripping it but just kind of drag it and then let it fall back down, reel up your slack, either pull up or drag it. That way it looks like a bait fish that's trying to swim and then it's dying and falling and then it's trying to swim again. Uh, you just have to vary that retrieve, but remember you don't want to go fast. The, this is a, a moment where the bait fish are dying off and the bass are not really chasing. They want an easy meal, so you got to make it easy for them and you want to mimic something that's uh, dying. And this lure, I believe I said it a minute ago, comes in at $14. And that's the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Next, we have the uh, Castic CC6 Crankbait. Right here. This one is 3 8 ounce. Uh, 2 inches in length. And... Two inches in length, uh, weight is three eighth ounces. This dives down four to six feet. So, and the color is called Orange Crawl. It's not a square bill. It's not a square bill, but it's still kind of a shallow to mid range depth. So you'd still fish this like you normally do a crankbait, try to bang it off of the rocks or some kind of timber or something like that deflecting off of it to mimic that wounded bait fish. Uh, this one, exclusive color from Monster Bass members. So this is an exclusive color right here. I don't know if y'all can see that right there, that orange crawl. That's pretty nice looking. Uh, build designed to avoid snags and generate deflection. Dives up to six feet. So again, custom colors for Monster Bass. This one comes in at $8.00. Next, we have Monster Bass's very own Incision 69 Lipless Crankbait. And there's that thing there. 
if y'all seen Rick's video he did on this, uh, he pulled his out of the package. It has a very, very slim profile. It's a lot slimmer than any of the other lipless on the uh, lipless crankbaits on the market. Uh, this color is called a Ghost Shad. It's a half ounce, two and a half inches long. Again, throw this out. It has those katana hooks. The uh, I'm trying to think of the word, but the the red hook that a lot of the monster bass lures have on there. But with this, I would say you throw it out there, and I would say yo-yoing is probably going to be your best retrieve. And that's basically you rip it up, and as you're lowering your rod tip back down, you want to take up the slack and pull it back up, reel up your slack, pull it back up. You want that? You want this lipless as you pull it up to come up, and it has a nice little shimmy to it. And then as it falls back down, it'll still have that shimmy. So you're, you're imitating a bait fish that's trying to swim, but he just can't get there, and then he starts to die off. So, again, slow presentations. Make it an easy meal for him. Uh, this one, sleek, aerodynamic construction, subtle side-to-side -side wobble on the descent, razor-sharp katana hooks. And this lure comes in at $8. You can go to the Monster Bass website and buy many, many more of these if you like them. I'm just going to say, go ahead and go to the website and buy some more. Because you're going to like it. You're going to love it. Next up, we have Bait Lab's Ultimate Strike Shad. Again, another crankbait. This color is called the Laser Perch. So yeah, perch design. Uh, 90 millimeters long. Half an ounce in weight, and it is a floating lure. So once you throw it out there, it's going to float. Once you start your retrieve, it will dive down. Just trying to see. It does not say a depth on here, or I am just not seeing it. Not seeing it. Oh, look. See there. What would you do without this guidebook? The Bait Labs Ultimate Strike Shad comes in at $8. Displaces a ton of water, even on a slow retrieve, hyper-realistic pattern, and 3D eyes. Dives 4 to 12 feet deep. Now, also on these crankbaits, the depth will also be determined on your line size. So please keep that in mind. When you're throwing these lures, depending on your line size, is also going to determine on how deep you're going to get these. The lower your, your test poundage is on your line, you'll get that bait down to its maximum depth. The higher up you go on your test poundage, then you're going to bring that lure up some. So keep that in mind. If your lure is not getting down to that maximum depth of 12 feet for this lure, you might want to you know check and see what, kind, what size line you got on there because that might be the reason you're not getting down there all the way. So this lure comes in at $8. Now we're going over to the Steel Shad Topwater Popper. I know it sounds weird that a popper is in the December box. I was, you know, thinking about that myself. Don't see a lot of topwater action going on right now in the month of December. However, I was thinking, if you could mimic a dying bait fish that is sitting on top of the water, again, slow presentation if the fish can see it if you just so happen to have a fish that's shallow throw this thing out there slow presentation slow pops nice subtle pops pretty sure you can trigger a bite uh, this color here is called it just says small popper green so Yeah, that's all it says, a small popper green. So this one comes in at $8.50. Premium bait finish from belly to back. Nickel coated razor sharp treble hooks. Best when fish slow with frequent pauses. So there you go. Last bait in the box. Big bite baits, Smalley Smasher. Uh, well, I have not opened this bag. Uh, these lures here, I would say best for drop shot. 
Uh, they're four and a half inches long. Green pumpkin, purple flake. So, drop shotting. Uh, you might even be able to put these on maybe a two aught or three aught hook and maybe even Carolina rig this. Uh, let's see here. Big bite bait smiley, smiley smashers. Molded ribbed body mimics bait fish. Thin spine and flat pedal tail creates lively swimming action. Solid head design for nose hooking. So right now everything is pointing towards this bait being fished on a drop shot. Uh, this comes in at $4. Everything in this box, with the exception of that Thunder Cricket, Everything else was under eight, uh, under ten bucks. The Thunder Cricket was fourteen dollars. The Castic Crankbait was eight dollars. The Monster Bass Lipless Crankbait was eight dollars. The Ultimate Strike Shad Crank, uh, yeah, the Ultimate, the Bait Lab Ultimate Strike Shad was eight dollars. The Steel Shad Topwater Popper was eight fifty. The Big Bite Baits was four dollars. And Rick said, you know what? You've got all this fishing gear, but none of those things are any good if your rods get damaged. So, let me throw in one of Monster Bass rod sleeves. This one here that I have is the black and green. As you can see right there, it does say Monster Bass. They do have these in other colors. Uh, those colors are red, blue, black. There's a black and red and looks like a black and blue. And these come in at $8. Uh, made from low friction nylon mesh. Larger size fits just about any casting rod. Hang loop for easy storage. So that's what we got for this month's Monster Bass. Like I said, it's like Christmas every month when you get one of those. And speaking of Christmas... Um, Christmas is coming up, guys. By the time you see this video, it will either be Christmas Eve or it will be Christmas. So, from me to you, from Outdoors with Creed, um, I would like to say a Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year's. Everybody, please be safe out here for the holidays and take this time to enjoy your family. And please, please, please. Realize why we celebrate Christmas, the real reason for Christmas. Without Him, without our God, without our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I would not be able to do this. I would not be able to bring you guys these videos and these crazy fishing adventures and stuff like that. So, I, I truly do thank Him and bless to have this opportunity to do this. And again, I just wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And until the next time, I will see you guys in the great outdoors.